Oh, they actually let me pick one. The Long Survivor. That's the one I picked for the group for the month. So, so they they haven't read it yet. It's oh no, they've read it. What they think? Well, it's something different than what they usually pick. Uh, they definitely enjoyed it. Some cried, uh, <laughs> but um, they definitely uh, liked the book. Though. What do you? What are the usual topics of the books? We usually go into uh, history. You know, we read about uh, Quakers, World War One, World War Two. And you know that's been majority of what we read since I've been in the club. So. What do you like reading the most to the kids? Uh, kids, uh, picture books. I didn't read many growing up, so that's what I get to check out now. Any in particular that uh, Taylor? Took? My favorite is The Giving Tree. I have about three copies. What, what is your major here? I'm not even sure. Uh, communication. Okay. Yeah, I might need to write the children. But <laughs> they're pretty cool. You might need what? Need to write one because they're pretty cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. What do you like about children's books? The pictures. <laughs> <laughs> How many uh, elementary schools have you uh, read to with, with since January? Or? Uh, several. Yeah. So, uh, and we send out videos to try to encourage them to keep reading. Transition in football. I mean, you know, you're coming back wide receiver. Mm -hmm. You know, pretty young group coming back. How do you think things have been going this spring? Uh, we've been working very hard. That's our main focus for the spring. Uh, I think all the other spring practices, I haven't been, I haven't done much uh, because of injury. But now I'm all in, and with the young group, our main focus this spring is to work hard. Well, I mean, you are pretty much the one veteran amongst yeah. amongst the group playing time wise. I mean. Are you making a concerted effort to kind of take control of that group? Um, I don't, I don't focus on taking control, but you know, if the younger guys look up to me, I make sure that I'm, I'm doing the things I need to do to lead properly. Like you said, you have been injured a lot in the previous spring practices. How do you make an extra effort to stay healthy? Uh, I just learned how to take care of my body. So before, after, you know, the days we have off, just making sure I'm in the training room. Was there any relief to you guys at all when McClendon moved over and it wasn't just a brand new coach with wide receivers that you didn't weren't familiar with? Was there any you know, familiarity there that, that was comforting? Uh, comforting, maybe not. I don't know. I, I can't really speak for all the other guys. You know, I knew Coach McClendon. Uh, he's been here since I've been here. So, you know, as soon as he uh, got that job, we talked. We had a meeting and we just. I want to make this the best season for all the receivers and definitely me because this is my last one. How do you like his technique? Y'all, y'all enjoying his leadership so far? Yeah, it's different though. <laughs> How so? Oh, uh, he everything's fast. Yeah. So the pace at practice has picked up uh, tremendously. Definitely since I've been around. A little bit more quiet though. Not not as loud. Who? As, uh, Coach McClendon as opposed to Coach Wall. Oh no, he's not quiet. <laughs> he, he lets you know how he feels. That was his arm. Because I mean, I remember he, Tony used to get the ball on you guys pretty quickly. <laughs> he's he's the same. He might be a little worse. He just, I mean, like five yards away, he's he's yanking back like you're twenty. How's it gonna feel this season having uh, Justin out there 100 percent? You guys being able to stretch the field. It's gonna be fun. You know, I. The season's a long way from now. We're just focused on right now. So I really don't want to speak much about the upcoming season, just spring practice. In terms of your health, I mean, is it, you know, are you still able to, are you still staying healthy? Are you getting healthier? I mean, you know, have you, you kind of reached a point where you're comfortable in, in how you're interacting? Yeah, I felt the best I have in a while. So as long as that's the case, that's, that's how I'm going to work. Like, I feel good. Has it been frustrating, you know, not being at full strength for a while now? No, it hasn't been frustrating. After you deal with something long enough, you get you learn how to work, work through it. How do you feel about the ability for this offense to go vertical with uh, these quarterbacks that you're working with? Now? I feel good. I feel I feel great about it. I, I think we can run any play we want to. It's uh, it's all about execution. Not not asking you to name a leader by any means, but is there anybody that has maybe a stronger arm than the other out there that really just zips it in? The three quarterbacks that are competing out there. I might have the strongest arm out there. <laughs> <laughs> we might need to talk to Coach Rick about it. So, uh, so position change maybe in the, the works. I'm, I'm thinking about it, man. I've been, I've been in the weight room, so. Do you have a pass attempt in your career? I need to look it up. No. <laughs> <laughs> you work that in. Oh, freshman year, though, we had a reverse pass. Mm -hmm. I didn't throw it because he wasn't open, but. <laughs> Good decision. Right? Exactly. So, so Todd Gurley actually has more career passes than you do here at the University. You know. Yeah. He had the one last year. Yeah. How many attempts has he had? <laughs> I only had one.
I think he had just the one. He did? Yeah, yeah I think it was just one. He was one for one for 52 yards, I think. Don't tell him that now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think